Dion, welcome. Thank you, Theo. Nice to be here. Dion, let's talk about Credo. Who and what is Credo? Theo, uh, Credo is an international financial services business uh, that was started in London 25 years ago by three South Africans. And if you fast forward to where we are today, um, we now have a business um, that has some 8,500 clients. We have approximately 4.5 billion pounds uh, on our platform. Um, and we manage a number of products. The flagship, which we're going to discuss here today, is the Credo Global Equity Fund, a usage fund um, registered in Dublin, which we launched about five and a half years ago, um, which now has about 120 million pounds uh, within it. Um, and we have about 110 people working for the firm, the majority of whom are at the Nerve Centre in London, but we also have offices in Johannesburg, uh, as well as Cape Town and Durban. Let's talk about the Credo Global Equity Fund. What's your approach to investing? I think I want to begin by saying, Theo, that when we launched the fund five and a half years ago, um, uh, it was based on an approach which we've been following with our direct private clients for the full existence of Credo, going back more than 20 years. And what I mean by that is uh, we have the approach that we would have uh, if we were actually sitting with a client discussing his or her or their portfolio with them on, on a line by line basis. So there's a, there's, a, there's a focus on downside risk, for example. Uh, people who watch this today may be managing some of their own shares. And, and I bet people who do that um, typically won't have too many positions. They will focus on uh, shares and companies that they understand where they believe in the business model. Uh, and they probably won't trade too much. Yes, a small number of people in the world are maybe speculators, but for the most part, people focus on the longer term. And, and all those principles you know, form the bedrock of how we manage money uh, for clients in general and also within this fund. If we get to the fund, to the equity selection, um, the principles by which you select the instruments in the fund, what are those principles? I, I think there's two points that I'd like to emphasize in the time available. Firstly, it's about the investment philosophy. Now, broadly speaking, investors around the world can be categorized as either value or growth investors. We are firmly in the value camp. What does that mean? It means that we like to buy cheap shares. Now, some viewers may think, you know, that sounds so obvious. Everybody would want to buy a cheap share. Um, but it's not actually that simple because you get growth investors who are quite comfortable to buy fairly expensive companies for the simple reason that they believe in the long-term growth prospects. They believe these companies will get even more expensive over time and therefore they would go for them. We tend to avoid those high growth, very expensive situations. And you only need to look at the drawdowns that we've seen with Amazon and Netflix and Tesla uh, in the last year or so to understand the risk uh, of a growth approach. So as I said, firmly value investors. And then maybe also just to emphasize within value, broadly speaking, you also get two subcategories. You get deep value and you get relative value. Deep value investors are those who go for the cheapest companies in the world. We don't. We think that often the cheapest companies in the world are cheap for a reason. Uh, they may be broken business models and they are likely to get even cheaper. So we focus on relative value. We tend to look for high quality companies at good prices. Um, and that's where we invest at the, at the intersection of value and quality. And then to totally change focus, the other point I wanted to make in response is to say that we very much have a bottom up approach uh, in terms of investing. So we don't really waste our time too much to worry about interest rates or inflation or currency movements or try to hedge uh, or structure. Uh, we focus on individual companies, business models, uh, and we try and buy those where we think the business model is intact, the competitive position uh, is strong, and of course, the value is good. Dion, let's talk about the performance of the fund. Um, what are you trying to achieve? Well, I think over time, any global equity fund like this um, will try to achieve at least the so-called equity risk premium, um, which is defined as the, the outperformance of equities over time uh, above inflation. Uh, and if you go back and look at studies for, for the last 120 years or so, that number is of the order of about 6% or so compound over time above inflation. Um, so that's obviously what we would try and match and beat if we're going to do our job. Uh, in the five and a half years that the fund has been uh, running, uh, I'm thankful to say that we have outperformed that uh, somewhat. Uh, in fact, we've had a very good year last year. Value was very much uh, a tailwind. And thanks to that, uh, we've done slightly better. We've probably done a, a double digit compound return uh, over the lifetime of this fund. And thanks to that today, uh, we are top quartile over most periods. Um, it's performance that we're very grateful for. Dion, you are in London, you operate out of London. Um, how does an investor get access to the fund? 
Yeah, yes, uh, the fund is a Dublin-based usage fund, um, and uh, in London, uh, it's available on a number of platforms. We have our own platform, so an investor with money offshore uh, in pounds or dollars uh, can open an account with us, uh, and we can buy the fund uh, for that investor um, on our own platform. It's also on a number of competitor platforms. I'm not sure what the, what, the, what the number is today, but I think it's double digits. So we are on 10 or 12 or 15 platforms in the UK. We have a South African feeder fund version as well for South African-based investors who want to invest rands uh, into the fund. It's hosted on the BCI platform. Uh, and therefore, a South African, whether it's an individual or a family or a structure, a trust company and the like, they can buy on the BCI platform itself, the BCI Credo Global Equity Feeder Fund, and get essentially direct access to our offshore uh, offering. Uh, in addition to the BCI platform itself, we're also available on most of the other large platforms. So whether it's uh, Old Mutual or Momentum or Glacier by Sunlum or Discovery 91, uh, it's, it's all there. And you know, if, if, if a potential client wants to speak to the friendly financial advisor, they should be able to help. Dion, thank you very much. That was insightful and all the best. Thank, thank you, Hugh. Enjoy that.